So I thought what I'd do is take two really inspirational people that have wonderful ideas that you could incorporate for Swedish country style. So I wanted to show you the paintings of Carl Larsson and the interior design of Carol Glasser. These are two artists who really inspire me and I think they have an, a lot of amazing ideas for Swedish country style. So Carl Larsson first. Carl Larsson was a Swedish painter and he lived in the late 1800s. He died. And he and his wife Karen, Karen was also an artist, and in 1888 they got a home, I think Karen's dad gave it to them, and they it was a country house in Sweden. They had six or seven children and they lived in this house and they decorated it themselves in a very beautiful and artistic way and incorporating traditional Swedish style along with anything else that they found artistically interesting. And Carl painted his family and his wife and the interiors of their home and he left tons of these paintings and they are a trove of ideas for Swedish country style. So I wanted to show you some of those and pull out the elements that make it so Swedish and things that we can take and do in our house. And then all of a sudden you're like, wow, Swedish country style in my house. And then also intermixed with these Carl Larson paintings, I wanna show you some of the work of Carol Glasser. Carol Glasser is an interior designer based in Houston, Texas, because I find everything that I have ever seen her do to be the utmost in perfection. She seems to love the European country style. Um, I've seen a lot of her French country style work um, via Joni Webb's blog, Cote de Texas. I'll link in the description below. Joni has three or four really great articles about Carol Glasser. And then Carol was gracious enough to give me permission to use some of the photographs from her website um, so that I can show you her Swedish country style. I wish that she had a book so I could look at it every day. Um, I think everything she does is brilliant and if you are in love with French country style, Scandinavian country style, European country style generally, she is the interior designer for you. 13 elements that you could put one or all 13 into your home and add some Swedish country style. The first one is fabric, checked fabric, striped fabric. Instantly give a Swedish look. There's this, um, you can do any color of checks, like these gorgeous red and white ones here on this armchair in Carol Glasser's home. Here are some blue and white checks in a painting by Carl Larson. Blue and white stripes, I would say blue, green, and white, or blue and white stripes or checks would be quintessentially Swedish. Here though you see yellow stripes uh, as well, so really any color. Here's some more pictures of Carl Larson's house. These beautiful chairs covered with these little slip covers. Um, some red stripes and red checks from Carol Glasser. Okay, the second thing is the sofa or the settee. Get a sofa or settee with wooden carved legs that you can see and a very simple clean silhouette on top, just kind of like straight line across. Um, here's one from a beautiful country house that's a museum now in Sweden. Painted and carved woodwork. You could just get any chair and paint it. You could add gilding, um, paint them white, paint them warm gray, and then, you know, cover the seat with a chair cover in checks. I have a tutorial on my vlog about um, a tie on a chair cover. I am a, the worst, most beginning sewer and I could do this project, so you could too. Um, dining chairs, all wooden, painted or not painted. Instead of a coffee table, table is low, kind of even or lower than your couch or chair. And these tea tables that the Swedish tend to like to use come up higher. I tried this in my own living room after being inspired by this. I just dragged a table I had that was, you know, standard table height over to my love seat, just kind of like this here. And it is 
awesome, especially if you're serving food. It's easier than the coffee table, actually, and I really like how it looks because it looks a little different. Um, Demi-loon half moon tables that you can push up against the wall when they're not in use or bring out into the middle of the room, like in this painting here, um, fit them together to make one full table. Bleached blonde wood floor, so very light wood, paint it light or bleach it or just get it finished in a, a light, light stain or get it pickled somehow. But um, I think traditionally in these old houses, they wouldn't put anything on the floor. They just put the boards down and left them to weather. Now you can see here, this has a light stain on it or um, you know, there was different ways to finish the floors in this blonde look, but that is a quintessential Swedish look, the blonde floors. Here is the, I think this is Fendersvik, if I'm saying it right. You can see the silvery floors. This is Stromsholm, another palace in Sweden. You can see the floors aren't finished at all. I don't even know if they oil them or if they're just left the way they are, but the boards turn silvery over time. Okay, flat weave rugs. Um, the Swedish are really known for these. I think it might have started because they didn't have the money for the plush rugs with pile and they would make these flat weave rugs and they would traditionally be a runner like you can see here in Carl Larson's home. And then if they wanted it to move around the room, they just folded it over. You can see there and in this picture over by the shoes, it's just folded and then it goes on its way horizontal. They want to go vertical, they folded it and on it goes. Um, there it is again. So I think that's a pretty cool idea. And then here's just a beautiful striped, larger flat weave rug in Carol Glasser's home. Um, for beds, a canopy bed or a four poster bed, painted wood with some carving, that would be a great way to add some Swedish style into your home as well. Here's a green, very simple bed painted green at Carl Larson's home. And you can see through to his room with the, the canopy bed there. Okay, and then for the rest of your furniture, paint it. They if, look for furniture with little channels in it, like the Swedish cupboard, carved, um, and then with simple tapered legs. So with channeled carving or any other kind of carving, painted white or a light color, and then tapered legs like you see that little blue night table and little green uh, and this very simple bench with just this light greenish white color and simple tapered legs here again um, the settee and there's a little dresser in the corner with the little tapered legs and painted white um, the channeled carving i'm talking about like on these chairs crystal chandeliers are a very swedish look Here's an example of a few. You obviously, you know, you can buy antique chandeliers for really relatively cheap if you get lucky. You can also just go to Lowe's or Home Depot and they've got tons of really nice ones, but it's a, a nice, pretty way to add some Swedish country style to your house. And there's another one. Um, what do you put on the windows? Swags, panels, or Swedish blinds? So here's, you see some beautiful Swedish blinds. They're so sheer. Um, here's some Roman shades, which are not exactly the same as a Swedish blind. Simple paneled curtains that go all the way to the floor, but nothing fussy, just a simple panel. And then here are just like a swag that's just simply looks like tacked up over the window, or you could drape it over a curtain rod. There's some long, simple panel curtains again. Um, you could paint or stencil your walls. Obviously, Carl and Karen Larson were artists, and they probably, you know, they had all this skill. They just these beautiful paintings and swags and flowers on the walls. There's a little saying painted over that door. The door is obviously very painted. Um, painted faux paneling. You can see here, they've at Carol Glasser's home, she's just painted the wall in white, dark gray, and a lighter gray, and it looks like paneling, or this beautiful, I had to include this, this is another museum in Sweden, that beautiful painted kitchen. And then here's another example some other examples of more elaborate, probably painted on a canvas and then tacked up to the wall. You could do something like that as well. But stencils um, will give that Swedish look for sure. And then just a couple bonus ones. <laughs> if you could afford to get a tile stove, obviously it's very cold in Sweden and at a certain point in time this technology came in 
and the tile what happens is the the fire in there heats up these tiles and the tiles turn around to heat up the room and it's more efficient than an open fireplace and also very beautiful you can see all these decorative tiles so if you could get something like that somehow sourced for your house carol glasser seems to have one in her house i don't know what her source is maybe i'll do another video on that in the future and then last but not least the mora clock i think if you are around Swedish country style at all, you've seen these clocks. Um, again, you can get reproductions pretty easily. You can also get the real antiques pretty easily, relatively easily. They're kind of expensive, but um, a great, beautiful shape there and quintessentially Swedish. Thank you so much for watching my video about 13 elements of Swedish country style. If you liked this video, would you mind giving me a thumbs up? below. Um, I'm so excited to keep making more videos about Swedish country style, French country style, and English country style. And I am at oldworldfarmhouse.com. Thank you so much.